dear friends welcome to rotating and static equipment channel in this video i'm going to explain about overhanging or back pull out centrifugal pump stuffing box squareness seal chamber bore concentricity shaft radial play shaft axial end play shaft run out and finally bracket frame perpendicularity let's get into the video while the pump is being repaired it is advisable to carefully examine these parameters you can increase the pump life mechanical seal life and bearing life by performing these checks first we will see shaft run out when a pump shaft is bent or out of alignment then bearing life mechanical seal life and pump performance are impaired shaft bend also cause vibration and coupling failures to check the shaft run out install a dial indicator to the bearing housing or pump bracket frame and set the dial plunger on the shaft outer diameter as shown in the figure set the dial 0 then rotate the shaft 360 degree then take the readings on the dial indicator shaft run out should be less than 0.05 mm if the reading is more than 0.05 mm then we need to change the shaft or straighten the shaft then second we will go for bracket frame perpendicularity to check the bracket frame perpendicularity install a dial indicator to the shaft outer diameter and set the dial plunger on the bracket frame face as shown in the figure set the dial 0 on the 12 o'clock position rotate the shaft keep the dial on the 3 o'clock position and take the reading from the dial then again rotate the shaft keep the dial on the 6 o'clock position then take the reading from the dial then again rotate the shaft keep the dial on the 9 o'clock position take the reading from dial the total indicating reading should be less than 0.05 mm if the TAR reading more than 0.05 mm then we need to repair bracket frame to get perpendicularity next we will go for shaft radial play excessive radial shaft play allows shaft and the seal to wipe deflect and vibrate this type of movement is caused by improper bearing fit in the bearing housing or possibility of undersized shaft to check the shaft radial play a dial indicator should be placed on the shaft outer diameter nearby the bearing housing as shown in the figure set the dial on zero then the shaft should be lifted or light pressure applied to the shaft then take the reading in the dial indicator the shaft radial play reading should be between 0.05 to 0.08 mm if the reading more than 0.08 mm then bearing and bearing fit should be checked and necessary repair needs to be taken next we will go for shaft axial end play excessive shaft axial play can result in pitting fretting or wear at the point of contact in mechanical seal area it can also cause strain and wear on the pump bearings to check the shaft axial end play install a dial indicator on the bracket frame and set the dial plunger horizontally to the shaft shoulder or step as shown in the figure then set the dial zero then a soft hammer should be used to lightly tap the shaft on one end to another end or pull or push the shaft with the help of crowbar from the drive end side then take the readings from dial indicator and the shaft axial play reading should be between 0.02 mm to 0.1 mm for proper assembly next we will go for stuffing box squareness if the face of the pump stuffing box is not perpendicular to the shaft axis the mechanical seal gland collar will tilt when installed this may cause the mechanical seal faces to wobble and could lead to seal failure to check the stuffing box squareness attach the stuffing box into the bracket frame of the pump then install and clamp a dial indicator to the shaft and set the dial plunger on the stuffing box seal chamber face as shown in the figure then set the dial 0 on the 12 o'clock position rotate the shaft and keep the dial on the 3 o'clock position then take the reading again rotate the shaft then keep the dial on the 6 o'clock position then take the reading from the dial then again rotate the shaft keep the dial on the 9 o'clock position then take the reading from dial indicator the stuffing box squareness total indicating reading should be less than 0.05 mm if, if the total indicating reading is more than 0.05 mm means stuffing box seal chamber squareness need to be corrected by machining so finally we'll go for a seal chamber bore concentricity to check for bore concentricity attach a dial indicator to the shaft and set the dial plunger tip on the seal chamber bore inside diameter as shown in the figure then set the dial 0 on the 12 o'clock position 
then rotate the shaft and keep the dial on the 3 o'clock position then take the reading from the dial indicator then again rotate the shaft keep the dial on the 6 o'clock position and take the reading from the dial indicator then again rotate the shaft keep the dial on the 9 o'clock position take the reading from the dial indicator seal chamber bore concentric city total indicating reading should be less than 0.12 mm if the total indicating reading is more than 0.12 mm then pump may have to be realigned and redoubled these tolerance readings may be varying according to the size of the equipment and manufacturers if there is no clear data information from OINEM then you can take this reading as rule of thumb thanks for watching this video